it's me, Nisi J. Today I'm coming to you with This is me, Nisi J. Today I want to come to you with my faves, my favorite products from head to toe. If you are interested in seeing this video, then you stay tuned. As you all know, winter is fastly approaching. So I have my favorite products that I use a lot throughout the year, especially year after year. There are some products that I just continuously use and then there's some a few new products that I really like and I just want to share some of my favorite products this time with you so I'm just gonna jump right in the first thing I'm gonna start off with is I'm gonna start off with hair because as you see my braids are out and my hair has grown grown so much I would definitely let you all I may do an updated hair video which I haven't done one in a while but I definitely will so stay tuned for that so so, okay, now the first thing, like I said, with hair, I'm going to start off with, I had to go out and purchase some more because as soon as I took my braids out, I had to, you know, shampoo and condition and all of that good stuff. So what I use for my conditioner, my mask actually, is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Hair Mask. Now, it also has coconut in this. Let me show you. And coconut and my hair don't mix too well. However, with this um, conditioner or mask, hair mask, it does really good. It's really lightweight. It's not really heavy, but it's super moisturizing for my hair. My hair loves this stuff, which is actually shocking to me, like I said, because of the coconut ingredient in it. But the coconut ingredient is further down the list. So the honey, I think, is more... Is, is, the more potent ingredient in this so yes next item is a conditioner as well as a leave-in conditioner I love this using my wash and goes in the summertime so I know definitely it's so moisturizing this is the one of the best leave-in conditioners I, I mean that I have tried and I've tried a lot and this one it still remains like number one it is the mango and shea butter ultra moisturizing leave-in conditioner and it really is ultra moisturizing this is one of my staples and what I use all the time again when I do my wash and goes and so I need to mm, think I need to do a wash and go yeah I haven't done one in a while so my hair is craving for a wash and go so yes this leave-in conditioner I don't know I get all up on a tangent didn't I anyway also I have my ORS the olive oil um, let's see olive oil moisturizing hair lotion with it is infused with castor oil this is really really good I like this a lot as well I use this all the time on dry hair um, I've been it's been about maybe a week or so now since I, I haven't had my braids and I've been using I use this every day especially with putting my hair up in this um, ball I just pour it in my hand and put it up and just moisturize the ends that's really dry and it just really helps my hair super moisturizing so I love this especially in this colder weather and it's getting colder and colder can you believe today it's like 22 degrees here in North Carolina like really okay anyway the next also is a deep is intense conditioning treatment by cream of nature and it is the argan oil one I, I, I thought I had some I was out of it and I always go back to purchasing this I love this stuff it not only smells good but it's so good for my hair my hair just loves cream of nature products and I've tried so many different ones there are some good brands but my hair and I don't know I don't know whether it will change eventually as it gets longer and thicker but right now cream of nature is my bae last but not least on the hair products okay um, 
The Shea Butter Miracle Leave-In Condition is one of my favorite as well. I do twist outs with these. So I may shampoo my hair, do a regular um, conditioner, and then my leave-in, I'm twisting my hair up with this to get those pretty defined curls. And this is so affordable. This is like, this is by African Pride, and this is like maybe not even $5, okay? Even with the Cream of Nature products, these are like, I think this was like $3.95 at Walmart. Okay, so these products from Cream of Nature are so affordable. And I think this was like $5, just like this African Pride. And don't think because they are, they are really affordable that they're not good because this is awesome. I love this. I've had this in the, on the shelf and I just bypassed it until I started using it. And it smells good. So yeah, African Pride, I think it's like $5 or less. And it's moisture intense. Anything right now with moisture, I'm adding to my hair because of the cool, cold weather. And I try to keep my hair up and out of the way. I try not to do too much to it, you know, because I don't want it to break off, especially, especially with the growth that I'm experiencing right now. I don't want to mess that up, so, yeah. Okay. And I use it for my hair. You can use it for your hair as a moisturizing agent. And this is my 100% African Shea Butter, and I get the creamy kind. Um, so good. It looks like this. It just really has a more of a cocony nut, you know, flavor. Like cocoa butter. You've ever used cocoa butter, but it's not that intense of a smell. But yeah, I love shea butter for your skin. It really hydrates and moisturizes. And it helps with any if you have little if you have very dry skin on your legs and feet or whatever, it really helps with that flaky dry skin. Really cuts that down. I I use it all the time. So yeah. For skincare, what I've been I've used so far as well, I like the body wash by Eden Skin, the body wash, coconut and shea, cleanse and moisturize um, body wash, and also the lotion. I've been I've used this so much. I I really don't have too much of the lotion left because I use it and I carry it in my pocketbook and I like the body wash. I like that it's, it's very it's very moisturizing and I use it in my bubble bath. I just like it. My skin likes it as well. So yeah, hydrated, moisturized skin, Eden body collection. Now you know I'm all about hydrated skin, especially on my face. I have bone dry skin and this so far, this fall, this cooler weather, my skin feels great. It's not dry, it's not flaky or anything. And I'm using a Neutrogena, um, Neutrogena Hydro Boost for extra dry skin. Love this moisturizer. When I, I buy it on Amazon, and sometimes you can buy two for like one, like they're $16 or $17, but you may can buy two for like 20 some. I'm always snatching this up, okay? So, yeah, I will have like everything that I have there in the list in the um, description box below. So, all you have to do is click on it. So, this moisturizer for my dry skin has been wonderful to me. I love this moisturizer, okay? And also, for your skin by Go Pure Beauty is, and this is my nighttime regimen. I use the retinal serum and I use the retinal cream. And this is an airtight little container which I love so your products last and when I had to scrape the bottom I twist it and all the product is down in the bottom <laughs> you know a girl save her money okay because this stuff I, I mean I love it it's very good at night um, time cream retinol you know it helps with everything on your skin it just helps your skin so I use the serum you know I, I'm all about a serum and this is the moisturizer for it so yeah I also have um, I talk about this in my on my blog on my Nisi J uh, website. So yeah, this stuff is really good. Also, I use the vitamin C, the hyaluronic acid from Go Pure Beauty. I will put their link in the description box below. And also, um, I have a code for ten percent off. I'm gonna link it right here. So yeah, this stuff is wonderful. And I only really show you products that I like. If I don't like it. I'm not showing it to you. That's and I'm real with things, you know. So the next item is this Fenty Beauty. I've been using this. I don't have it on today, but I've been using this a lot. This Fenty Beauty liquid liner. It's called Fly Liner. 
and it's so black and it's and, and it stays on all day i love it doesn't smudge smudge or anything so yeah i like this i usually use the one by kat von d but yeah this is becoming one of my favorite items as well fenty go ahead rihanna foundation i am in the color dark fonce number nine right here this foundation is so good now it is a high-end foundation it may set you back 54 55 dollars i love it i love 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 this foundation i don't use it every day because you see the little bottle okay you see the little bottle okay yeah i don't use this every day i may use this for church or special events or things i'm going i really i'm taking pictures in because this magic foundation it does give you the appearance of youthful glowy skin it's not greasy it's not it's, it's it actually feels a little matte but not really matte i have it on now I love this foundation. I wanted to wear it today because just to show you what it looks like. It looks like my skin. Um, I, I just really like this foundation. And I, I'm not, I mean, it, it takes a lot for me. I, I like this foundation so much that I would wear it every day. But I'm not trying to spend 50 some dollars every two or three weeks. No. I'm not that's not happening so I save it I like it if you do want to look into a good foundation that really especially if you're over 40 like I am you know a good foundation that that really do, does not go into the creases and of your lines and fine lines or anything then this you this is a good investment i love this foundation again um someone told me to make sure i put my <laughs> put my my color my shades that i wear here so let's see it i am in again dark fonce and that's number nine okay and the charlotte tilbury magic foundation so, now this is not a high-end but this is my everyday foundations that i i have so many but i pick up one and i've been using it for the last couple of months and it is the true match by l'oreal okay usually uh in true match i wear um n7 um, but right now, as you can tell, I'm not as dark as I am because of, you know, the season change. I usually get a little lighter. So now I am in, let's see, in 6.5. And I like this. I like this foundation um, a lot. It also, this says it has a sunscreen in it, a, a SPF of 17. Yeah, but, you know, it may have flashback and all of that. But I'm just wearing it every day. Plus, it has a sunscreen in it. I love it. I love this foundation a lot. It is very good for everyday use. It's like seven to eight dollars, so it doesn't break the bank. I can use this every day, and I don't mind once a month going to replenish this. So yes, this is a real, real good foundation as well. And I like that it doesn't go in my fine lines or creases either. So that's great. Okay. So yeah, L'Oreal True Match. Another item that I've I've been using a lot, and I love it, is. Ever since I've purchased this from Sephora, so for the last couple of weeks, I've, I've used this, and I, I mean, I fell in love with this concealer. And I'm very hard on concealers, guys. Okay, it has to to meet the mark, and it has to be able to stand up to my other favorite drugstore brand concealer. Okay, but anyway, let me stop rambling. It is the creaseless. Concealer from Tarte, so shook by this because I've always just passed by this um, concealer. I'm like, okay, this concealer, this concealer is bomb, okay? I have it on today. It, it's kind of sturdy when you put it on because I, at first I thought it was matte. I'm like, oh my goodness, when I applied it, but it applied, it's a little... Now, it's not thick, but it applies like heavy. It's not heavy either, but it, it, it's just firm. It's more firm than what I'm usually used to, I say that, okay? I love this. I love this better than that Born, the Too Faced Born This Way um, concealer. Yeah, this is this is it right here. This tart. I love this. And I am in the shade right now. I'm using, oh, what is that? What is that writing so small? Okay, yeah, this writing is too small, but I'll find out and I'll put it in the description box below. But yes, I love this. Love this concealer. This is a very, very good concealer. 
especially for mature skin. I mean, really, and I naturally always, even as a baby, I've had, I have little lines right up in here and it's probably gonna get worse as I continue to age, okay? So, 48, all right, not too bad right now, but you know, you want something that's not going to advertise the little fine lines up under your eyes. This does not, it is creaseless. I love it, love it, love it, love it, okay? So I definitely recommend, if you haven't tried Tarte, try it. When I purchased this and I did it in my previous video where I did the haul, I've had so many people say, you're gonna love this, you're gonna love that concealer, and I do, you're right. On the pricey side, 20, 25 dollars, I believe, maybe a little higher, but yeah, it's worth it, okay? If you're gonna spend your money on a good concealer, yeah. Tarte. So another affordable concealer, one of my favorite, now that's why I said it, I'm really hard on concealers, so one of my favorite, fa ooh, my neck was on, one of my favorite, favorite um, concealers is H Rewind. I love this, and I am in medium, medium, whoops, I am in medium Mohan, that's how it's spelled. So, yeah, I love this concealer. It does the same thing. It doesn't go in your fine lines. It's very affordable. I think this may be five, maybe eight dollars. Five to eight. Let's just put it in that range. Love this concealer. Very good. It doesn't, and it, it, it says called the um, eraser, dark circles, and it does. It's really a good, affordable um, concealer. So, yeah. One of my favorites. I'm all about lip balm. I love lip balm. This is, um, it says lip care with cocoa butter in it by VIA. I just picked it, this up and I think it was Walmart. I just picked it up, but I'm, I'm all about lip balms, chapsticks, things like that. So yeah, this is one of my favorite. Also, I brought my brows, okay, brow set. This is by MAC and it's called Boy Girl, Girl Boy girl boy and it is in the shade it's like a light brown reddish like my hair color um right now you can't really see it doesn't look red but um yeah and i really really like this brow set it it sets perfectly every time and it gives me that hint of if it's really too red when i use the pencil when I fill it in this kind of tones it down and make it look make you know make it look more natural so yes I love this brow set by Mac and so basically oh one more thing forgot you all know my faves airborne I'm not trying to get sick this this winter okay I never get sick I, I like I said I haven't had a cold flu anything for almost i thought it was 10 years but it's longer than that it's almost 15 years i haven't had a cold at all i really keep my immune system up i use this anyway, that is all that i have for you today hope this video has been interesting for you or i hope you like this video and if you did please go ahead and click that little like for me go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video also, if you are new to my channel, welcome. You are now part of the Nisi J family. If you're just stopping by, go ahead and consider subscribing and click that little notification bell. When you do, anytime I upload a video, you will be the first notified. Also, go on over and check out my website at www.nisij.net. I have a lot of interesting topics on my website i talk about mature skin you know women our age i would say i say between 30 and 30 on up 30 35 on up can really benefit from that website i talk about things and issues that i don't necessarily talk about always on my channel anyway enough for me rambling because you get me started i will keep you here all day Okay. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and thank you so much for supporting me on each and everything that I do with this channel. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you again. Peace and love until next time. Bye.